Yo, DK here continuing Kevin Cooper's story. Uh, last time we finished mission 11, now we go to just uh, another interlude this time. So this time it's called Saboteur. Back in Guchotin, Dr. Daryl Jones slowly makes his way there. Dr. Daryl Jones, who's that? Is the ghost dude? Saboteur. Watch the interlude. You are late, Terran. My apologies, sir. I've heard that your organization halted the full in infestation of New Leo. Yes, unfortunately. However, I am ready to start the infestation of Guchitan once more. This time I'll do it with myself with the transmitters you gave me. Indeed. So, this is a uh, it's a little spoiler here, so this guy, this Alexei Stukovka is known as Vlad Nikolaevich, who also was shown in my random mission project in the Zerg portion. He also makes a cameo in the in my Ballcorn's Bad Times final map. So just a little side note there. Okay, so Salvatore. Mr. Daryl Jones here, same stats as a ghost. Stop, show me your ID. I am a scientist from Commander Kinsley's division. I need to get to Guchotin. And does this scientist have a name? Jones, Daryl Jones. Now, will you let me through? You're gonna have to come back with a proper ID to pass me. They never learn. One shot at the Marine. How's that possible when he does 10 damage and Marine has 40 HP? What's going on here? There's apparently Zerg still crawling around the vicinity. How is the town up ahead? Guchotin? Hell, there's no report of casualties. We're all fine. Just wish it would stop raining. Oh, I set the HP to like 1% and then that's how Daryl Jones kills the Marine in one shot. What's taking so long, impatient Marine? Going to Guchitin? Yes, I am. Business or personal? Visiting a relative. Alright, move along. So Guchitin was mentioned in mission 10 of the... K KCS caffeine in case you guys forgot welcome to Gucho turn I hope you <laughs> looks like the experience can't wait any longer so he was saying that inside his mind time to set up these transmitters I received from Mr. Nikolai Epic side transmitter not side emitter So yeah, this is Guchit in here, just the inner, uh, the near the entrance of Guchit in. So obviously, if we go a bit farther outside the map, then it'll be the heart of Guchit in. But for now, Mr. Daryl Jones, Doctor Daryl Jones, is doing something shady here. A lot of civilians here. I should have done this from the start if I knew it was going to be this easy. Sabotaging E5 labs was more difficult than this. So yeah, the E5 labs was the the one where the experiments were loose and went to Harmington's Valley in Mission Ten. So that was actually so it just this tells that what is that thing? Then that one guy just now leave it here. Excuse me, excuse me, huh? Oh yes, how may I help you? I was wondering if you've seen some scientists in the town. Scientists? Oh, yes I know, follow me. So, like I was saying earlier. Uh, yeah, this, so this basically Daryl Jones was the problem, the cause of Mission 10 and, and such. 
I think you're talking about them, right? Yes, it's them. Thank you. Like I said, there is a 6% uncertainty in Hamming's theory of genetic mana- Hey, who, the, who are you? If it isn't Dr. Jones, that marine guy just now was being too suspicious for his own good. I placed the transmitters in the town. We should leave the area soon. Let us go, gentlemen. Hmm, where are those folks going? Okay, so you say you place all the side transmitters in the town? All four of them. Good, good. We brought several experiments and hit them near a cave. They should have already sensed the side transmitters there. I saw some zerglings when I was near the town's entrance. Must have been excited, those experiments. Then shall we move on to our next location? Not yet. I still have to talk to the fellow who helped us relocate, relocate the experience here. That marine is like being very suspicious of these three. Give me a second, will you? But they don't. These three don't know. You're back already. Rip. What did he do to you, Jones? Had to take care, take care of something. Right. See, you saw that Marie just following them right now. There they are. Mike is waiting just ahead. What took you so long? And who's your friend? Sorry for the wait. This is Daryl Jones. He's with us. I'm Mike. So it's safe to assume he knows Vlad as well? Certainly. I've worked for a lot of Terran groups, but this is the second time anyone dare using Zerg as weapons. Second time. You reap what you sow. Where did you hide the rest of the experiments? Me and Bart moved them to the nearby forest. <laughs> I have to admit, it wasn't easy. Now we wait for Guchatin's infestation. Shouldn't take that long. It's a, it's a complete disaster. The experiment strike again. Some random defiler. What's going on? It's a. It's just a slaughter fest. That's what I was going with. The poor civilians. Get it? These experiments are lured by the side transmitters. I just got word from Kelly that most of the people are dead. Who's Kelly? She's our dropship pilot. She'll pick us up soon. Our job seems to be finished. I knew something fishy was going on about that guy. Visiting relatives, my ass! I better report this to Lieutenant Cooper. Dun da dun! So what can we tell from this interlude? Dr. Daryl Jones is a traitor. A filthy, filthy traitor. Working for this mysterious Vlad guy. And in case you haven't noticed, the Vulture, the Murray, and the Kelly that the Vulture guy was talking about, Mike Buster, was talking about, they're all from my, uh, my, uh, Ball Coins Bad Times, uh, movie cinematic maps. They're shown in uh, mission, uh, not mission, but 
Bob Corner's bad time is four. Yeah. Before the final map, so just a, just an FYI. So, and then when Mike Buster said, "Oh, this is the second time," you know, they dared using Zergas weapons or whatever. The first time he was referring to the Confederacy. So, so I was going with this preconception that these these t like tens. So Mike Buster, Bart Sor, Kelly Harris, whatever. And there's gonna be another there's another guy, another ghost guy called like Yar Flay Yar, but he, he shows up later later on. And also in my in, impending doom campaign, but it's just to say that these Terrans, quote and unquote Terrans, who work for this mysterious Vlad Nikolovic guy, used to work in other Terran groups and whatnot. So now they infiltrated the righteous working as a, a full righteous member, so Anyway, this was DK. Hope you guys enjoyed this little interlude story here. Next time, I'm gonna continue with Montag. So, for now, thanks for watching, as always.